Hey guys, welcome back to another Dark Souls 1 lore through. Um, yeah, so now that we I've gotten some poison arrows and uh, we've now come back here, because uh, now we've killed Kirk three times, we can now read the Armor of Thorns description. And... Uh, Gonna find it. Okay, here we go. Helm of Kirk, Knight of Thorns, a notorious member of the Dark Wraith. A stark patch of thorns grows from its surface. It is fitting item for the murderous Kirk, for by simply wearing it and rolling one can damage enemies. So yeah, he keeps saying he's a Dark Wraith, and I'm sure he is, but he I mean he's obviously always here uh associated with uh our fair it seems like he might be a chaos servant um especially since he ends up here as his demise um and that he's basically hanging around isolith and stuff so um yeah i mean it says what it says but uh it just seems weird that all the other the other things don't are not congruous with it uh, so yeah, we have to run back here, um, but uh, it'll be well worth it, um, because, uh, and yeah, in fact, we can just go this way. No need to, to go through, although, you know, maybe there's less, maybe there's less uh, trouble the other way, but I don't know. Six of one, half a dozen of the other. Um, I mean, I'm going to do this a certain way so that I don't die. <laughs> I mean, it. There. Would it all a lie? Have I done this all for nothing? Oh, my dear son. What now? What should I do? My son. My dear, dear son. Would it all lie? Um, yeah, so I mean, this is the point. You know, once you get to a certain point in Isolith, I think the bonfire just into Isolith, he will go here, and if you haven't killed that bug, that maggot, uh, it will kill him, and then when you come through here, he will be um, hollowed, and he will attack you. So, but now, I mean, everything's kind of wrapping up here at this point. I will not kill this uh, demon, Titanite demon. Yeah, this kind of sucks. So, this Titanite demon is so hard to kill, for one thing. I mean, it's like the one in Anne Orlando. And it uh, responds, which is cool because if you want Demon Titanite, you can uh, you can farm it, but it makes this area like if you want to come through this way. I mean, it just makes it so that you have to fight him each time. So it's if you're just looking to clear it out, there's no reason to to actually. Uh, I should repair my weapon probably. All right. So, yeah, there's an item there, so we're like, oh, we should just go here. Okay, so I actually don't want to talk to him because I don't remember the way that this all plays out. Um, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to kill all but one of these guys. What am I looking for? Can I, what can I wield? Deposit bow? Sure. And then I guess we'll, um, I got a couple poison arrows and let us. An interesting thing about these guys is uh, if you try to plunge attack, they will actually eat you. Um, 
<laughs> like as if you uh, if they like grabbed you and put you in their head with the teeth um, so yeah it's kind of a neat little uh, detail that they put in there So yeah, if you kill, I mean, there's a whole bunch of ways this can go, including like a certain amount of health that, I mean, I think that's the other way to get the stone speckle ring or whatever uh, from him is that if he like survives with like a certain amount of health, which maybe I'll try to do here, um, just to get it, try to get it. Um, He'll give you the ring, but if not, he won't, and so... Okay, so first off, let's put on the, uh, the rusted iron ring. Let's take this off so we're not fat rolling. Now let's talk to this guy. I really have run up quite a debt to you. <laughs> <laughs> and he'll die if he, if he just goes down with the th or four of them. But I don't know when he charges in, so I don't even want to like talk to him until I've at least cleared them all out. Um, friend, I have an idea. A good one, really. I will rush this dire scene, and you can slip away in the confusion. <laughs> friend, I owe you much more than this. By the honor of the Knights of Katarina, allow me to assist you. Now, I go. Don't be slow. Ah! Ah! Come on! Over here, you mean panic! How because I am Vigmire of Katarina, and you shall feel my wrath! Oh, yeah. Great line read. Um, okay. Do I jump down? Do you jump down? Okay. So I'm going to kill this guy. And we'll see how well he gets on. Oh, good. I wonder how many how much health he's got. Huh. Maybe I should have left two alive. Alright. What's up, buddy? But you didn't you get away? Well, you saved me once again. Kind of. Oh, I'm exhausted. I think I'll have a rest. Oh, don't you worry. The ground below me is my pillow. This is I'll poisonous. Shortly. Give me a speckled plate ring. Well, there you go. So, I mean, I could kill him for it. Um, I wish he dropped it, uh, like, when you complete the quest. Like, it seems weird that, I, I, mean, I don't think the ring says anything, and it, 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 I mean, it's a good ring, it boosts, like, all your defenses at once, <laughs> but, um, I wish that wasn't a ring that you had to, like, do weird things to get, um, like, have him, you know, have under 50% health, and whatever. Um, I always get lost around here. These are pits that will kill you. And there's more of these guys up here. They uh, they do drop the red titanite chunks if uh, 
you know, if you're doing fire chaos up ascensions and stuff, so this is a good what place to uh, to farm. Um, I think it's weird that he, like, goes down there and stays down there. Because, I mean, like, technically with the mechanics of the game, he should be dead. Like, now. But, that's what happens. Alright. So, the only other thing that I want to do here is I want to grab that bonfire because I undoubtedly will die to the bed of chaos once and we might as well try to get it by getting this item here which I always find very difficult to do for some reason I'm, I'm sure there's like some easy way to get it or something I don't know I don't think Stepping down over there is, is good. So I'm again. I think this. Oh, why did I roll? Oh, this is a rare ring of sacrifice as well. Okay. I was saying earlier the hue changes here, you can see it right there. Again, it makes sense because there's lava here, but uh, I just don't like the quality of it all the time. Okay. Sorry for that little detour. Now. Let's take on the Bed of Chaos. After long last. Hopefully, yeah, we're not too far in here. I think, <laughs> oh, given me three or so chances to do this, and then going to talk to Quailana, I think that should be a good... I like how the orange shred ring like totally protects my like literally bare feet. It's it's not even like I mean I guess if it protects me in armor it should protect my bare feet too, but it's just funny to me. Oh wow. Once again, I've never seen that happen. Does Dark Souls work differently if you have OBS running? What's going on? I've never seen those guys not all three just run straight to the left. Like, that's always what they do. It's so weird. Alright, so yeah, I guess that's Isolith. We were able to see Isolith from other places, which makes me think that maybe we should be able to see the Tomb of Giants and stuff from here. But, for now, oh, textures missing. Many textures missing. Is that just, I have a, I have DS Fix and I have like HD textures, is they just miss that? Or is that like in the proper game? That's not... That's, yeah. Alright. Might as well top up here. Weakness fall, okay. I always make it a challenge here to not break any of the branches. There we go. Nice. Alright. So I believe with this, you can just run pretty easily. So if you'll notice, so yeah, so there's the main section and the two balls on the side here. You can see that those runes are here. And that ball. So I cut that, and that's the one sister, I believe. That's kind of being encaged in that. And then 
this is a the battle becomes harder once the oh wow um, can run by here which is great oops <laughs> Sometimes what I do is I just, um, oh, that is 35,000 souls. Sometimes what I do is I just quit, um, puts me outside. The, the fog gate again, then I can just start again without having to essentially do this run back. I'm really debating about those souls. And the humanity I don't care about, obviously. Um, but the question is, is, do I want to focus on 35,000? I mean, that's a level right there. Now, these guys always turn to the left, and they always go, every time. <laughs> I mean, so, if I wear, if I wear the Ring of Sacrifice, then even my stain won't. Ooh, that was a grab. Even my stain won't go away. But I'm just wondering. Wait, is it just nice? Does it just place it out? No, I think it places it inside wherever you died. Sometimes if you die like right away, it places it either out here or up here. I'm gonna say screw those thirty-five thousand. I mean. If we really need some souls before any given thing, I will go and farm them. Alright. This is the place. I didn't. I never knew you could go through there until recently, so. I believe that it's safe here. So. Let's see if we can just do this. So that's a quick way to, like, do the one side if you could successfully run over like I was trying to do. Then come over that side where you're untouchable. I guess that's the chaos itself as a human figure. And then, um, let's just get rid of this. Okay, and then come back here. The only thing we really have to do here is sync up these things with the branches right here. This might be it. Now the only thing is that they might, you can do a uh, the firestorm in here, and that's pretty much death. Um, and then, yeah, there's this thing in here, which apparently. Oh, ho, 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 ho. I'll take it. Um, yeah, the only thing going in there is a bonfire and that doesn't do anything you can't warp to it you can't do anything uh so i will consider that well done well completed soul of the bed of chaos mother of demons soul of the bed of chaos and the mother of all demons this sort lord soul was found at the dawn of the age of fire oh i can feel it
The Witch of Isolith attempted to duplicate the first flame from a soul, but instead created a distorted being of chaos and fire. Its power formed a bed of life, which became the source of all demons, and is more than enough to satiate the war vessel. Alright. Well, let's see, what else do we have to do? So, I think we're done with uh, Solaris questline. I think he just appears now. I don't think he's here again. So, I mean, we have plenty of time in this episode, so I might just look around for some stuff. Um, okay. I don't know his quest line well enough to know whether or not he comes back. Um, and Orlando. Do we get the text from the Lady of the Darkling about Seath? I think we did, yeah. Um, let's see if she has anything else to say. Hmm. Go ahead. Even an undead. Okay, yeah. If you require rest, that is. Yeah. If you require rest. That... Okay. Do I have Nessus Flask? Okay. I guess I remember where the next one is. Oh, I didn't get any of those souls. That's what we're gonna do. Um, yeah, we don't need to level it. So yeah, pretty much, let's just go get this, then we'll go back to the Abyss, I guess. Well, we can go back to Firelight Shrine. All right, just in case something terrible happens. Yeah, I could use those souls. So yeah, we'll just do a quick little detour here. Oh, we have to speak to Quailana. Uh, I even said that at the beginning of the episode. I'm just, you know. Flighty. Um, so yeah, we can homework bone here, actually. <laughs> Once we get this, because we... Do we rest at... Do we just rest at that bonfire that we just were at? <laughs> I mean, it won't be the worst thing. We'll go to Anna Orlando and now we can just warp, but... Would it all a lie? Have all but my son. Like how all those sunlight maggots are just hanging around Solaire and like that's fine, but the one that we killed, ah no, that will kill him. That one is a specific vendetta. Oh wow, that's scary. So yeah, that's another thing that never has happened before. He always shoots at you, so that's why I run a zigzag, but not this time. Uh, let us, uh, yeah, I do have an arch trigger, okay, good. I guess I don't need it, but, ooh. Just a quick little detour here. I wonder if, uh, I wonder if, uh, why can't I think his name? Sigmire is still here. He is. He should be dead. I mean, I don't mean that. <laughs> Hopefully. I just mean, okay. Oh, okay. Get out of here. Let's get out of here. It's 
weird coming back to this with my fog door. I don't think I've ever returned to this. Oh man, I have to make that jump too. <laughs> like, I could easily die here. I might want to put on the Ring of Sacrifice because, uh. Just in case something terrible goes on. Yeah, I've never been in this boss arena without the boss. It's like the stakes are there, so I'm gonna screw it up. Okay. Might as well light this. Um, the other thing is that there was that little bug. Uh, I obviously wasn't focusing on that because of the flame. But uh, yeah, there's a little. It looks like a bug. I don't know if that's. You know, if that's Queen of Isolith herself and we kill her, which kills the chaos, or if that's the source of the chaos. I don't know that, actually. But in future games. They kind of reference that little bug, so um, something to keep in mind. Um, I mean, it was about the size of like half of me, but you know, little in terms of normal bosses. Okay, so let's go to the Daughter of Chaos. And for good measure, uh, tiny being, where is it? I missed it. Oh, here it is. I thought it was thinner, right? Crater. Um, Crater, please sit. I am happy. Okay, so nothing new there. But don't. Yeah. Have you heard an idiot yeah. hope that what if she, our fair lady, would be? Yeah, let's see if we can talk to her. Um, and you don't care anything new. Okay. Yeah, I rested there. Just now. What was that? Oh, that's the corpse of Kirk. Knight of Thorns. So yeah, that's Isleth underneath that big thing. It's a domed city, I guess. And I wonder if it's sunk deep beneath the ground here, or whether or not, like, it's really the oldest city in the game, right? I guess Anne Orlando. I mean, because to me, it just seems like Isolith might have been a city from, bef you know, from the time that the flame was found. But I guess that's what Anne Orlando was, too. And I was thinking maybe, you know, it's so deep down below that it's, you know, because it's so old or whatever. Still going to be a short episode, actually. Just so I can sit here in peace. Yeah, get away. Outstanding. You have done very well. Thank you. I am blessed to have met you. I suppose I can call you fool no longer. You work on me, fool. I hardly fool? thank you enough. Please take this. It is all of me. Nice. 
Um, let's see if they have anything else. Undead report. Yeah, we. I definitely wanted to check that out, but I don't know if I'll do that this playthrough. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna do that. Thank you. I suppose I can call you fool. Why did you call me a fool? No luck. Do not let it bother you. All right. What did you give us? Fire Tempest. The primal pyromancy of Koilana of Isleth. Erect giant fire pillars in vicinity. The tempestuous raging flames resemble those summoned by the daughters of chaos when they challenge the ancient dragons and scorch the very earth. It's an old pyromancy. Okay. <clears throat> well, I think that will that'll about do it. Um... I guess while we're here, oh, we're not in the covenant anymore. Ugh. I'll do a, you know, after I kind of do everything except for Gwyn, I'll do a, you know, a big loose ends episode. Um, kind of covering all, I'll kill all the NPCs and stuff like that. But, um, yeah, that should do it for this episode. Um, and next time we're going to go into the catacombs and find Rhea <coughs> and Patches and Nico and Vince. Um, but until then, have a good one.